Welcome to another tutorial in my GD script series. So today we're going to talk about loops such as a for loop and a while loop. And to start, let's go with a for loop. So to write a for loop, you write for i in range. We're going to go over different options and we could say 10 here for now. Then colon and let's print out i. Oops. And we could go ahead print that. Print 0 to 9. There you go. And if you want to um, count backwards, this range function actually takes multiple parameters. So it could go from 10 to 0 and you increment by negative 1. So it will start from 10 and count down to 0. Well, it will count 9 here. And then let's go ahead and do that. There you go. So from 10 to 1. Now, if you want to loop an array, we could uh, make one here. We're going to cover array in another video. So let's see ARR and let's throw something here. There you go. So right here you could put array that size and then we could print R dot I. And there you go. And it prints all the values here. So this is a long way to do it, but in Godot you could access the value directly. So instead of doing this, using the size here, you don't have to use a range. You could just put array here, and then you could just print i. So this automatically loops to the array, and then sets the value to be i. So let's, oops, wrong thing there. So print i. There you go. So if you want to do a double loop, let me grab out one of these. Or a two-dimensional loop. Here I have two loops here. So, so let's say test 2D and then do another for loop. So for J in I. Remember, so test 2D gives you this array here and then this one and then this one and so forth. So we're saying J in I because I is now a, one of these. And we could print J. And there you go. And that's how you do a double loop. And we could do it the long way if you want. So in range, range, so test, test 2D that size. And then we could say I that size. And that should be a range. Then we could print, oops, let me fix it. Okay. So now we could print out, oops, let's put this here, test 2 D dot I. And there you go. Same result. Now to do while loops, while loop you just use the while keyword, and we could create a uh, variable here real quick. So var num, and say while num, oops, num is less than ten. We just print out num, print num, and then increment it. So num increment by one. That should just print out num. Oop, we didn't assign them, so let's do that. And there you go. So 0 to 10. All right, so if you want to break out of a loop, it's simple. Just check if a number is, let's say check if num is equal to 5. Then you simply call the break keyword. Oop, I see plus plus kicking in there. And there you go. Goes up to 4 and then breaks. And that should be it for this tutorial, guys. Um, next video, we'll maybe cover arrays. And let's see how that looks. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one.